People without hope sink into despair. Despair becomes depression. Life becomes meaningless. They often say things like, I hate my life. It's meaningless. I have no purpose. Let me tell you something. You may have lost focus on your purpose, but every one of you sitting here has a divine purpose. Every one of you do. You don't know what kind of pain the person sitting next to you right now is enduring. There are people who go to church and smile, but on the inside, they're weeping. They're talking about happiness while they're going through an emotional hell. Is this you? Is this your family? Is this your marriage? Is this your business? Here's God's word. Hope thou in God. Say it with me. Hope thou in God. Say it again. Hope thou in God. Lost hope is an undertaker's best friend. Several members of my family are medical doctors. And they say one of the worst things that can happen to a patient is that they lose hope that they're going to recover. Because when they lose hope, they instantly start to fall. Many people no longer hope for the best. They just hope to avoid the worst. Hear me, you cannot live life without hope. If you have no hope, your heart will break, your mind will snap. You will stagger through life blinded by your tears. You will walk the road that leads to nowhere where joy has been suffocated by the sound of your sobbing voice. Many of you here and millions of you watching by television or listening by radio, or desperately searching for hope. I have this message from God today. There is hope for a brighter tomorrow. Dreams still come true. There is a never-failing God who sits in the heavens, who has guaranteed you, based on 3,000 plus promises in this sacred text, our hope is not wishful thinking, our hope is alive. Our hope is real. Our hope is eternal. Our hope is available. Our hope is powerful. Our hope can take the darkest night and turn it to the brightest day. How do I know? God said so. Thank you, Lord, for the Word of God. The hope in Christ will make you laugh again, will make you sing again, smile again. Get up from the depths of despair where you are and try again. Hope thou in God. There's an unlimited future for you, but you have to shake off the stinking thinking that's destroyed your mind. And see yourself for who you are. You are a child of God. You are an ambassador of Christ. The royal blood of heaven is flowing through your veins. You are somebody. You are the property of the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And he is intended for you to have all of the power and the authority of royalty. Therefore rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Your Father in heaven is sending joy peace and hope to you today. Give him praise in the house of God. Many 